to WiseLink Academy. For today, I'm going to be constructing an heptagon that is a polygon with a five equal sides. But I'm going to be considering, I'm going to be drawing five circles inside a polygon. A polygon, um, since a polygon is a five um, um, shape that has um, equals, equal five sides, it simply means that the maximum circle that we can inscribe into that pentagon is just five. So now I want to inscribe um, five circles inside a pentagon. What is my first tax? My first tax here is to produce out a pentagon and we said a pentagon is a what is a polygon that has five equal sides my first tax here now is to take my t square and my pencil this way and draw a horizontal line let me draw a horizontal line this way let me draw it here draw a horizontal line right Next up, I will pick a point. Let me pick um, this point. Let me call it point A. At this point A, let's say that the side of the pentagon should be 6. Should be 60 or 6 cm. Either 60 mm or 6 cm. I will take my meter rule this way. I will measure out um, 6 cm. As you can see. And call this point point B. Right, our next stop, I will take in A, B. I will take in A, B. Having done this, my next task is to take my compass, my pin of compass on B, extend the pencil to A. This way. Having done that, take your pin to A and what? Draw a faint circle. As you can see, a faint circle. Similarly, come to B. Take your pencil to A and draw an other faint circle. As you can see, what I'm doing below. Next up, if you observe closely, it meets at this point and at this point. Since here is A, B, I can call here C. And call here D. Next up, with the same radius that I used to draw the circle, that is radius AB, come to D and draw another circle this way. Right? Another circle. Where that circle meets here and this point, I call it, this is A, B, C, D. Call this E and call this f while i will take my um meter rule connect c and d together connect this c and d together this way i will have this when i put my pin of compass at d i draw a circle where the circle touches this point here is my what my point g so now, take your meter rule to point, this is point G, right? So take your meter rule from E to G, extend it outside this way. I'll be having this, if I take it from E, passes G, take it down to a faint line to touch this point. Right? Similarly, the same procedure, take it to F. Passes through G this way. F passes through G this way. Make it touch this point. Right? So when it touches those points, I will connect A to that point. Also, I will connect B to that point. We have successfully produce out three parts from the what from the pentagon so my next tax here now 
is to ensure that I will take the radius of AB, right, which is 60, take it to this point, strike an arc. Similarly, come to this other point here, call the arc. Where the arc meets will be my center point. So this point here, I will connect this point to that point together with a thick line. And also connect this point here to that point with a thick line. So, I haven't considered this. I haven't considered all this. My next approach now is to delete all this um, unwanted line. I, my aim is to just produce out a, a hexagon. Right? So, now I need to clean out all this. Right? If I delete all this unwanted um, line, I will have this. Alright. I have successfully cleaned out all the unwanted line. What is my next task? My next task is to get a middle point. A middle point. How do I go about that? I'll put my pin of compass at B, extend it to A. By say I'll by make sure I bisect it. Take it this way: one, two, and A. One, two. Where they meet, I will draw um, horizontal line, a vertical line. This point here, where it meets other point. I'll draw a faint line down this way. Right? This faint line down this way. Similarly, let's this is here yes, A, B. I can call it C, D, and E. Right? So I haven't done this. I since I've bisected A and B, I'll bisect A and C the, the way the same way. Now A and B is 60. It, it simply means A, A and E also what? 60. Take it this way, 1, 2, this way. Come to E, cut the arc and cut the arc. Right? Where the arc meets is at this point and at this point. Similarly, I will connect those two points together with a faint line. Right? So where those two points meet is at this point, which is my what? My center point O. Now, at that point O, this center point, I will connect A, B, C, D, E to touch the center point. So how do I go about that? I will connect D to point O. Let me erase this to avoid um, mistake since I got in my center point. O. Now, connect D to O, connect C to O, connect B to O, connect A to O, connect E to O. I have this. Right? What do you observe? If you observe closely, this is a triangle. A triangle, a triangle, a triangle, and a triangle. So our tax is what? Inscribe a circle in a triangle now. If you don't know how to inscribe a circle in a triangle, you can check the description of this video. You see the link on how to inscribe a circle in a triangle. We're going to apply that concept to do um, the inscribing for this pentagon. Now, my first task is that if you observe this triangle here already has center, which is this line. This one towards the center. Now I, I, I need to transfer the center to all this part too. So I can easily take this E, take it down this way, down this way. That becomes my center for that. Take A, A, down, down this way. Here becomes my center to that triangle, right? So I will connect A that way to the center point. I will connect um, E, this is E line, E, um, center point this way, as you can see. Now, what do you observe? This triangle here has a center, this triangle here. As a center, this triangle here has a center, these two as a center. 
Now, having considered all this, my next task now is to um, bisect just an angle. Now, if I take um, this this way, I cut it this way, take it at this point, strike an arc at this point, cut the arc. Where the arc cut is at this point, so I will bisect it this way. I'll draw it a faint line. So this is my center point. Where that line touches my center point is here. At that point, call it point Q. Call that point con Q. At that point Q, I can now easily inscribe my circle inside the triangle. Right? I can now easily inscribe my circle inside the triangle. So apply the concept of inscribing. So as you can see, I have done one. I have inscribed one. You can see that. Right? So it simply means I don't need to come to this place again and cut another angle. Just transfer the center point to all these points here. How do I go about that? Come to this center point O, extend it to that point Q. Right? Now use it to cut this point. Cut this point here. Cut this uh, make an arc here. Make an arc here. And similarly make an arc. Strike an arc here. So that point will be my center point for those circles. This is Q. Call this point here Q1. Call this point here Q2. Call this point here Q3. Call this point here Q4. Right? So at Q1, I will gauge it to draw um, a circle. Right? If I gauge it, if I gauge it, Show that it touches um, all the sides, right? Show that it touches all the sides. Gauge it. Gauge it. And show that it touches all the sides of. The circle, right? So, so that touches all the sides. So I can now easily think touch all the sides of the circle this way. You can see. I've described another one. Similarly, come to this point here too. At this point, I will inscribe. Make sure it touches all the sides of the circle. Right? Touches all the sides of the circle. Right? So, so I inscribe this. So if I inscribe this, I'll be having this. Right? I've successfully inscribed this. Let's stop. Come to this point Q3. At Q3, I gauge it to touch all the sides. Right? I gauge it to touch all the sides. I'll be having this. If you can see, this is another circle. And finally, it remains one at this point here. I gauge it. As you can see, I have a fifth circle. So here is how to inscribe five equal circles in a pentagon. If you have found this class helpful, do not forget to click on the subscribe button and like. Thank you. Welcome to WiseLink Academy.